Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we have to deliver one of the items on this trailer, and two of those items are going to get removed. When we get to our crane truck, he's going to take them off. And we get another steel beam loaded on. I just totally missed that. Plus, we're going to drag that trailer back. We need to get this truck turned around. This is going to be a bit of a pain. But we can do it. Without jackknifing. And we need to get the arse facing that tipper. So it should be there almost. There we go. And then we're going to go back and we're going to pull that tipper with us. So we got lots of cement, but we're going to, we'll figure that out for the next set of missions. Now, I don't think... Nope, I don't want the back of that trailer. We must have pulled too close. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, try this again. I want to attach to that back. Attach to the tongue. There we go. Ah, much better. Okay, here goes nothing. So we are on our way to the Smithville uh, drilling site with one bar of steel plywood. Steel planks. What I, Or metal planks, I think they call them. Yeah, metal beams, okay. Oh, they changed it, didn't it? used to be, when the game first came out, I thought it was metal planks. Now it says metal beams. That's really what they are. What, honey? Has it always been metal beams? I thought it was metal planks. Okay. Well, we've got some building framework, so... I think this trip will be a little bit easier than the last one because, one... This truck is just smaller. <laughs> Two, so the roads, even though they're narrow, they're not a problem for a, a narrow truck. Two, the Panther is a, or the Dairy Long Hauler, or whatever we call it. The Oshkosh is a really good truck. Um, so. We could cut through there, but we won't. Got some slick surfaces going on here. Get on this hill we won't though. So I think we have all of the excess trailers off this map except for um, there's a repair trailer on here somewhere. I think it's up well I think it's up that road. Um, but we don't need it, and I would rather just stay on the map, because once again, we do have a couple more missions coming through here. I've also got the P-16 and the Apache on this map. We're going to leave them there for now. Once again, I don't know what the future is going to bring here, but we do have several. There's two overarching map missions that we need to complete, um, and those are going to be done in one episode. But they're four set. They're like, like a four delivery mission. So we're going to have to kind of plan out how we're going to do that. Um, that's the best way to do it. I have a feeling that will involve some twin steer action because if they're like four part cargoes, we can fit them on, the, on those trucks and they're easily recoverable. So we'll get it all worked out. This thing is like a a road train even so even with just the two trailers. Look how cool that looks. 
strong hauler. So once again, people have complained. Maybe they complain about this truck being slow because it's not a very fast truck, but I don't think in general these are very fast trucks anyway. They're really meant for off-road usage. Or maybe this is it, like because it has to really slow down to get up these steep hills. And we're going to take a fuel break right here, as usual. See how much faster that was, though, than the other truck coming through? Like, we just flew right through that. Because, once again, we didn't have the to deal with the obstacles. There's only one or two obstacles on this trip that I'm afraid of. And before we hit those obstacles, we're going to be jumping, dumping off that trip, that tipper. So we're going to have a little refuel here. Uh, the aim is going to be our... Dairy long hauler, cool. Back this guy back. So having that P16 there has been very helpful. All right, jumping to Smithville. All right. Uh-oh. Where did my tipper go? What? Uh, $3,000 down the drain. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can grab that tipper. I'm about to travel back in time. Detached trailer. That's okay, because we're going to have to separate to sell that tipper anyway. So let's go back and see if we can't find it. It does belong to us, and I want it. Sell it. Let's do it. Oh, it was my fault. When I detached the um, when I detached the P16 or jumped into the P16, it automatically dropped the winch. I forgot about that. So. If you leave a truck, you have to re-winch when you come back, so that's why it happened. Shoot. Not a big deal. I could have left it for the P-16, but I want the road cleared because, once again, we do have a, a freight coming through here in a bit. Cool. So let's go sell this tipper. And... Uh, Then we'll get our freight straightened out on the other trailer and pull it on down to the site. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering and thinking about maybe trying to do the river crossing with this truck. It's probably stupid. I know this truck can do it, uh, but I'm a little bit concerned with the tractor trailer if it can do it. It should be able to. Last words. That could go really right or really, really wrong. But if it works, it could save us a ton of time. Let's think about it. So we're going to pound by here, sell this off, and then grab the uh, flatbed and get that sorted out. Okay, so let's sell this. Good. Go back and grab our tipper. And off we go. Are 
you singing? Did you get married? Did you get married? Are you going to divorce me again? Again? All right. Very good. That's the road we'll be taking if I decide to cut. I think. I think this truck is capable of it. And once again, we're going downhill, not uphill. So that actually makes a big difference because we're not going to have the weight to deal with. All right. Hello, babe. Perfect deal. All right, so let's get this thing unloaded. Cargo management. Unpack cargo. I think we're too far away. We're just, let's do this. The crane placement's cool and everything, but I think it's going to be too far to reach. So let's go ahead and park here. There we go. A little bit better. Let's see. And cargo management X. Nope, I want to go. First thing we need to do is clear the platform. So unpack cargo. It's not going to let us do this. Shoot. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. And then functions, we're going to uh, go cargo management, and I'm going to do there. We go. Okay, now let's switch over to our freight liner, and we need to get a little closer. Bad wall. Corn wall. Oops. It's a little on the close side. Okay, so first things first. We need to move these guys. Nope. We're gonna return these to the to the warehouse. First we're gonna break them. There. Raise this up. Change the camera angle. And put that down over here. Very good. there. I will say for me, one thing that has happened with this version of the game is that the crane controls have gotten a lot more understandable. For whatever reason, they're really difficult in Mudrunner. But this version of the game has made them fairly easy. So let's go ahead and put these down here. But now we'll lift this up. over. Nice and easy. So we've loaded and unloaded the truck. And we are ready to take this down to our delivery point. What? You don't want have a bathroom? That could be very bad for the person that lives in that house. How about you, but... 
I often have to go to the bathroom. You never use the bathroom? Ever? Huh. Stop that truck right there. And let's go ahead and change trucks back to this guy. And we're going to go ahead and pack that cargo. Ta-da! All right, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, one second. We want to take a look at the route here. Um, so if I go this way, see this? We could get right <laughs> We could go down the hill, which is right here. Come out looking like roses right there and cross the river. Uh, should we try? I mean, that is like instead of going all the way down the mountain and around. We got an off-road truck. We should theoretically be able to do this real easy and quick. <laughs> Famous last words. So let's go ahead and get started up and go. Nice and easy. We crossed that river in no time, right? Famous last words. We don't even have a full load on the truck. Excuse you, babe. Because it's you, babe. You're the one that's burping on my videos. Just let it go. Burp, I love you. I know my sing my singing has gotten worse, did you say? Hey, what? It's hurting my ears. Oh, that's not very nice. But you like when I sing. Oh. Do you like when I sing? Nobody likes when I sing. Well, then, may I suggest earbuds or earplugs? Because I'm not stopping singing for anyone. And already this is going pear shaped. Tell you what, the Panther has not been in the shop. I mean, since we started using it, this thing has been all over the map. All over Michigan, anyway. It's been a great truck. Um, I'm very impressed with its performance. Strong performer off-road. Strong performer on-road. Just a great all-around truck. I don't know. Maybe I thought differently about this road now that I'm seeing it. Can we save this? No. Oh, Lord. And already, it's going to be a hassle. Come on. Pull us over. No, that's not going to work. stupid. The rest of the trip will go smoothly, I swear. Okay, so we need to get this reloaded with our cargo. So park that there. Turn the engine off. And change trucks. Oh, man. No, yeah. We need the Freightliner. All right, Freightliner to the rescue. Thank goodness we actually, that I'm glad that happened close to home because we don't have a long way to go with this truck. This truck does not have all-wheel drive, so that could be a problem. Moves along pretty good, though. This is a decent truck. I can't wait to get the all-wheel drive. In the I don't think I have the lift kit for this truck yet either. So we're like halfway to it being great. Just 
slow it down. This road's just not great. Road condition poor. Ooh, that was close. Pow, pow, power wheels. Oh, come on. Boy, this, I talk about bad camber. Man, I didn't realize how bad this road. It's been a long time. I kind of remember this road being wide and easy to get up, but I guess that was just my imagination, huh? Because this is anything but easy. This is a mess. I mean, I've brought lots of trucks up here. Gosh. Thought going downhill would be easy. Stupid. Okay. Get this thing operating. Okay. Put that cargo out there. That's about as far forward as it's going to go. Dang it, I wanted it to load up front. Change truck. That's where it's going. Okay. Uh, this is not going to be realistic how we do this, but it's just what's going to happen. So, all right. So now we're going back to the crane controls. X, right? No, it's not quite realistic to pull it up with the winch, but that's how we have to do it. So what's going to happen here is going to be ugly, guys. I apologize, but that's how we're going to have to do it. And maybe they've changed it so that you can't do this, but I'm hoping that they haven't. Okay, and we're going to put this truck and restore the crane. Engine off, and we're going to go back to the other truck, and we're going to pack and unpack. There we go. Now, it's not loaded the way I wanted it. I wanted it up front, but it's what we got, so let's do it. I wanted that way towards the front of the trailer, and I, that's how they should have loaded it, but... We're in a dire situation at this point, so let's just go ahead with it. Okay, the rest of the road looks pretty flat from here. We'll see as we go down, but it's not looking too, too bad. Some people say when they watch my videos, they leave comments, I make it harder for myself. I disagree. I always pick the easiest routes. No, this is a nightmare route. Right? And I knew it. But I wanted to try it and see if it was doable. And I think it I think it will be. It all depends on how the trailer behaves in the water. That's where it's gonna that we're gonna That's where we put a thumbtack in it. Come on, Trucky. Oh. Uh, not again.
So we're going to go at it from the top and come straight down at it, I think. If I can't, dang it, the trees are in the way. Get through here. I want to get down as straight as I can so that we're not, like, tipping over as we come down the hill. This is probably about as straight as we're going to get, though, huh? Do it, do it, do it. Come on, don't slow down. Okay, all right. Diff lock's off. Okay. Now diff lock's on. And all-wheel drive on. Low speed. Low, low, low. There's nothing to winch to if I get stuck, so I'll keep that in mind. There's a big rock here we're going to go around. Now, the trailer's going to probably get hung up on these rocks, but that's okay, because we should be able to just yank it over the top. Famous last words. Road goes very sharp left. But this truck has all-wheel all steering, and that does help us quite a bit on these tight turns. You see here... Not bad, actually. Uh, this is doing a lot better than I thought it would, so my hope is up that we'll be able to make this crossing without any incidents. And see how much time we shaved off instead of having to go around the whole way. I don't know in real life if anybody would actually risk this. They probably would, actually. I, you know, you see like these ice road truckers. They do some crazy stuff. Um, if the road is there... I know in Russia you see truckers doing stuff like this, so... But in America, I don't, I don't know. This is fun, though. This is like a big challenge for this truck. I think we need to go this way. I know it's going to be a little bit awkward, but... There we go. Splash. Almost got trucks damaged, gets damaged by water, but we didn't. Eh. Okay, we're, I think we're over halfway there, and we're crossing onto this little American island. Is the, is the, what is the other side Canadian or something? Okay, so our route is working out, actually, surprisingly. It was, a, it was a little little scary there at the beginning, but <coughs> we are, we've pulled it off. It was a calculated risk. Famous last words. Now, we have one more big section to cross, though, and I don't know or remember if this one's better or worse. It looks like there's less big rocks sticking up, so that might make our trip easier. But finding our footing, that's we just got to make sure we stay on the rocks. That's going to be the biggest trick here. Sun's starting to set. But we really have no worries, do we? This was an easy trip across the river. Honestly, easier than I thought it would be. So, we're doing good. Now we just have to get at the bank and deliver this to the factory. We'll actually come out on the right side of the factory, too. We're going to go up right here. Who said this truck wasn't good? Because I disagree. Oops. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, Considering we just... I'm stuck on a... Uh, this is not fair for the truck. I'm stuck on that ridge. That's my own dumb driving. It's not the truck's fault. But we are really hosed at this point. So I'm going to try to get a winch out there. If worse comes to worse, we can always grab one of the big trucks. They're just around the corner here. The P-16 will be fine. We can come over here and pull this guy out. Might have to do that because. Come on, pull. I just don't want to tip because I don't have a crane down here. That would be a disaster. Come on. I don't think I have a crane. Now. What the frick is. Oh, I had the truck in the reverse the whole time. Oh, Arthur. How did that happen? I must have, you know, I put it in reverse to, you frick. 
Uh, I hate it. Sometimes, for some reason, when I turn the menu off. Oh, the tree broke. Okay. Pick a tree that you can actually pull on. There. Now we're going to make it. We just had to snap what was ever, or whatever was holding the truck in place. Probably the metal supports. Oh, freaking logs. I should have gone to the right. I thought this way was clear, but obviously not at all. Just go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Okay, now turn. Now turn. Now flip. Now dump it. Okay, last second. Perfect. Inches to go, and we're stuck. Okay, so I'm going to go, let's see, we're going to back down go this way. The rocket a little bit. Oh, perfect. That's what I want. That's the way I wanted to go. Now we're stuck on logs, but <laughs> the box of the, the repair box on the trailer is there. This was the worst way to come. Not the river crossing, but I should have I should have come up over there on that side. My mistake was trying to get up over on this side. I couldn't remember which side was the clear spot, but this was definitely not it. Maybe if we go this way. You know what? Those we're never gonna get around all those stumps. Come on, let's go. So let's just get turned around this way and go. So we could theoretically dump over. This is painful. Come on. Yay! We're free. Maybe. Let's get there. Then we'll see if we're free or not. <laughs> what am I stuck on? <sighs> There's nothing there. <sighs> okay, there we go. So, was that easier than going all the way around? No. Was it faster? Definitely. Was it worth it? I don't know. It seems like it. We used to have a tank of fuel. I'd say we probably saved about 10 minutes, maybe 5 minutes. If I hadn't gotten stuck at the end there, it would have been a lot faster, but I should have come up right over the, to the right there. I forgot that you have to go around. And so anyway. Okay, so we've got that done, and we need to deliver the last part, which is right over here on the Western Star. And then we need to return our crane to the factory or the warehouse or whatever. And we're all done. This mission is accomplished. This mission is brought to you by Arthur. So this truck's ready to go back. The Western Star will be ready to go back. We need to sell these trailers off. Let's get this truck parked right here. Not enough damage to worry about repairing. Change truck order. No. No. Okay, fine. This has gotten really mucky here for some reason. Scraped it. Dandy, dandy, dandy. 11,000 bucks. You guys are going to make millions of dollars with this oil rig. That's all you're going to pay? I suppose that's kind of realistic price wise. There, that's what I feel about it. I'm going to bash the crap out of your fence. Jerks. All 
All right. I'm going to lash these two trucks up and take them home. We'll do that off camera. I'm going to change trucks over first to the uh, Caterpillar. And we're going to use that to refuel our... Our P-16, I mean our Panther, our Dairy Long Hauler. There we go. Okay. And last but not least, let's head back uh, to our map. We're going to grab the Freightliner. We're going to return that up to our warehouse because, once again, we may, we may need to use that again. I'm thinking we probably will need it because we have, like I said, we have other deliveries to make to all the maps. That's going to be our next two episodes as we finish off those. If I ever get this truck out of the woods. Man, this is where all-wheel drive would have come in handy. Come on. We'll pass it. The tree—it was caught on the tree, is why. He, that's the, the road's actually pretty dry up here, but he dug in because the stanchion got stuck on the tree. Man, this is so bad camber right here. Just—I'm gonna tip. They've obviously used this road for trucks, but it's like caving in on the side that I'm on. I can't I can't get it out. It keeps wanting to slide over into the ridge. I need to get this truck turned around. No way we're going to get out some forward. So let's do it. Unfortunately, the diff lock makes it hard to turn, so... Better. Okay. Now we're in slightly better condition to get out of here. This is not an easy job with this huge crane on the top. It's heavy. One pig is crying. Two pigs crying. Three oh, pigs is crying now. All-wheel drive would have probably really helped in that situation. But that's not what we set this. I didn't realize when I, you know, set this truck up that I'd be doing, like, heavy off-road duty. I, otherwise, I would have picked a different truck that's more off-road capable. There are very few trucks that wear this crane well. I think the GMC is one of them. Um, the Western Star does pretty good, like the white Western Star, because... It's it sits lower to the ground, even with the raised gear, and it's wide. So that probably would have been a better choice, maybe. And it has, you know, diff lock and all-wheel drive. This truck will have all-wheel drive eventually, but it just it seems to be really rocky with that crane on top. It's not ideal. Okay, that pretty much does it. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished for the night. So for the next two episodes, we're going to be running all kinds of cargo all over the place. In the meantime, we're going to get the trucks scrambled and reset and moved around to where they need to go. So we'll see you guys next time. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you again on SnowRunner. Bye.